Morning Bumblebee, it's Happy Thursday. Hope everybody's doing really well. So in today's lesson, we're going to do something that you are absolute experts at. So it will not take me very long to remind you how to do it. So we're going to have a look at understanding characters and saying how that character might be thinking, feeling and saying in a certain part of the story. So here's a little picture that we've got. So if you are a good reader, you can make an inference about a character and you can tell me what they do, what they think, what they say or how they are feeling. So we look at their thoughts and what they might be thinking. We look at their dialogue, what they might be saying. We look at their feelings for how they may be feeling at different points in the story. And we can also have a look at their actions. So what are they actually doing? So actions is a fairly new one that we've been looking at recently for our different characters. So your job today in the lesson is to have a look at Mothup and Farmer Rafferty in the story um, with the Martians. And you are going to have a go at writing their thoughts, dialogue, feelings and actions based upon the understanding of those characters. So here are our Think, Say, Feel bubbles that we have used before and we are very, very good at using. So here, Farmer Rafferty is very, very pleased with himself. And we can see that he is clutching lots and lots of money, which works really well with our maths work this week because we're looking at money as well. So we want to have a look at this picture and work out what might Farmer Rafferty be thinking right at this moment in time? What might he say and how is he feeling? So all of these things are um, inferences that we can make just from this picture. Now we've read the story quite a few times. We've done loads of work on the story this week, which has been really good. So we're going to use Farmer Rafferty here to say what he is thinking, saying and feeling. Now, I have got a little challenge for you. And that challenge is this. I would like you to challenge yourself today. So instead of using all the words that we normally would use, like uh, Farmer Rafferty in this picture looks really happy. OK, now we would normally write happy in the feelings bubble. But I would like you to try something new. So if we were in school right now, we would be looking through a thesaurus, which is a book full of different words with the same meaning. So we're going to do something very similar, but we're going to use a website. So I'm going to show you this website here, and this website is called Word Hippo. So we can search for millions and millions of words here in this website, but I want you to use some of the words that you might decide that Farmer Rafferty is thinking, feeling, or saying in the word hippo. So I've just said, that he might be feeling happy. So if I type happy into word hippo, it comes up with lots of different solutions, but we still just want the word happy. So I'm going to click find it. And when you click on find it, it will then take you to this page. So what is another word for happy? So it tells me what happy means, first of all, in a context that it's an adjective. Well, we know it's an adjective because it's a describing word. OK, because we are describing that he is feeling happy. But then look at all of these different words that we could choose instead of happy. I particularly like this one, cheery. So in my bubble, I could write cheery for how Farmer Rafferty is feeling. Or I could put fantastic because he's feeling fantastic or ecstatic. He's ecstatic that he's got all this money and he's going to be able to buy his new tractor with it. He's thrilled. There's another one that I've just spotted. So all these words that I have just said, so cheery, ecstatic, thrilled, fantastic, could all go into my feelings bubble. So what might he say and how might, what might he be thinking at this point in the story? If you're unsure what he might be thinking, you could always read the story. It's in your mud puddle excuse me, it's in your Mud Puddle Farm book. So have a read and see what is he up to? Why has he got all that money? I can see the word money up there and I can see buy his new tractor, which might be a bit of a clue. So have fun with this, complete your bubbles and send them through to me for checking. Take care, everyone.